Today's video from Shopstuff, we're taking a quick look at the CountLab Model 6 cash register. So in this video I'll use the register, try and cover most of the basic functions and hopefully give you enough of an idea as to whether the machine's going to be suitable for your business or not. So Model 6 is the final machine in the 4, 5 and 6 range. If you've watched my videos on the 4 or 5, um, the 6 is basically exactly the same in terms of operation and programming. The only difference being that it has a standard size drawer, uh, which I'll cover a bit later. Model 4 has no drawer and Model 5 has a compact drawer. I'll put up links to those videos at the end of this one if you've not seen Models 4 and 5. Okay, so the machine is supplied with a um, just over one metre long mains cable. So it's a mains powered machine, it's not battery powered. Um, it's supplied with three keys um, for the mode lock. So you have a cashier key or operator key for the off, reg and X modes. And then you have manager keys for manager control over the end of day Z reporting and the programming of the machine. Um, so if we do, I'll, I'll ring through some sales just to give you an idea of how the machine works. So for a standard sales transaction, you type in the amount of money on the numeric keypad there and then assign that amount of money to one of your 16 department buttons. Repeat the procedure for each line of the transaction. Once you've entered all your items, you hit the subtotal button over here. The subtotal amount of the sale is displayed on the numeric operator display and there's also a rear numeric customer display so the customer can see the figure as well. You've got three pre-programmed method of payment buttons so you have check, card and cash. So if this transaction was a cash sale you would type in the amount of money tendered and then hit your cash button here. It's a fairly standard cash register operation. The draw fires enabling you to dispense the change. Um, you also get a receipt automatically print out at the front of the machine. You don't have to have that. You can have it set to off by pressing the receipt on off button and then use the receipt issue button to issue a receipt on request. If we take a look at the um, till receipt. You can pre-program the receipt header message and the receipt footer message and also your department descriptions. So this is the main difference between Model 6 and Model 3. Uh, so there's a CountLab Model 3 which is very similar to this except you can only edit the numerics. So on this machine you can program the prices and the department descriptions as well as the receipt header message. Um, <clears throat> I'll put for a couple more sales, show you the cash drawer and then talk a bit more about some of the functions and the programming of the machine. Um, so you can have presets. So on this machine I've got a prescription button set up at 9.35. I've got some Carlin pints, Carlin half, cider, half a cider. So if you sell multiples of a particular button you can press it twice or you can use the multiply button. So 6, multiply and then the preset button. If the button's not preset you can still use the multiply. So 10 multiplied 99p into your confectionery department. You can also do fractional entries, so 2.5 times one pound into dairy, and the till will do the calculation for you. And again, subtotal. Uh, there is a discount function on there, so we've got a sale here of 89 pound and 10p. If you wanted to give a 5% discount off the total transaction, five, and then the discount button subtotal and then you can press the card payment here. Obviously the method of payment is displayed on the till receipt and it's also shown on your end of day report. I'll cover that later so you can see there you've got card separate to cash. If we take a look at the cash drawer now this is obviously the one of the big features of this machine. It's the whole insert's removable, it's, it's on drawer rollers, you can order extra inserts uh, for shift changes um, through the shop stuff website. So standard size drawer, standard size UK drawer, so you've got four note holders for your 5, 10, 20 and 50 and then you've got eight um, well sized coin pots for the eight UK coin types and there's a media slot at the front. The, you'll see the drawer's got a cash draw key so you can you can use the cash draw key to open the drawer outside of a sales transaction should you require or should you want to. Um, in terms of the programming, so if you order the machine on the ShopStuff website, which I'd recommend, you'll see that we um, 
have the till available on three different levels of service. So there's bronze, which is a, effectively a cash and carry price, so you're buying the till at a trade price, so it doesn't come with any programming or assistance other than the online videos. It is supplied with the um, free unsupported software and the necessary cables. Um, so there's a serial port on the back of the till and then there's a USB adapter so you can connect it to a PC. The programming of the machine, um, if you program it yourself, you can program prices easy through the till. So you turn the key around to the program mode, um, type in the price and then press your department button and that's it. Turn the key back to reg and that, pro that department is programmed. Um, in terms of the description, so if you're editing the receipt header or the department text, that has to be done via the software. So we can do that for you on the gold programming package. So we program your receipt header message, your receipt footer message, and also up to the 16 departments. We also then offer a platinum service, which is the same, except we've also fitted keycaps to each button. So we take off the plastic cover, print and fit a keycap with a description of the button. Um, so it looks just like that. So if you need those doing order on the platinum service, if you're not first, um, then the gold service will suffice. Um, so that's most of the functions in terms of the programming and the sales operation of the till. You then also got uh, two report modes. So X is your read only report. So it gives you the sales information, but it doesn't reset. When you come to do your end of day report, you turn the key to the Z position, press the cash button, and the report prints out the top of the machine. Just tear that off and take a look at it. So it's clear that it's the day's report. It says Z, so you know it's reset. Then it says day's report, and then it lists out every department you've sold through. So it's the, the department name, grocery, the number of sales through that department, and then the total amount through the department. It skips any zero department, so it only shows ones you've had transactions through. It shows any discounts, voids, or refunds. And then at the bottom, crucially, you've got a net total, and then a cash total, and a card total, and then below, just confirmation of your cash in draw um, as well on there. So one of the features I like of the machine is the report's easy to read, um, quite clear, and also it totally resets. So if you run another report, that's all back at zero straight away so you know you're ready for your next day's trading. So yeah, that's the CountLab Model 6. Uh, I think I've covered pretty much every, everything you'd need to know about that machine. If you've got any more questions, you can check out the shopstuff.co.uk website. You can also contact us through there. Um, and you can also message us through YouTube. In terms of extras you might want to order with the machine, the machine's supplied with one um, thermal till roll, so I recommend ordering um, at least a box of those to keep you going because you do need one loaded to use the machine even if you're not using receipts on it. You can also order a uh, wet cover which I'd recommend if you're um, using the machine in a hospitality environment. There's an extension cable, a mains extension cable, so the standard cable supplied with the Model 6 is just over a metre long but you can also order a two metre mains extension cable. And then one of the key features of the count lab range is that the till itself and the drawer base are detachable. So you can have the base, um, the cash drawer base fitted under the counter. So we sell brackets, so you can fit the, use the brackets to fit the cash drawer underneath. And then you can also order a mains, ex um, sorry, a drawer extension cable if you want the till set up um, a bit further away from the drawer. So you can check those out on shopstuff.co.uk. You can also check out the Count Lab other till videos appearing on screen now. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.